good afternoon and welcome to another Railsim Gamer tutorial video for Train Sim World 6. Today we're going to be looking at scenario, scenario editor, what we formerly used to call scenario editor in Train Sim World Classic or Train Sim Later Classic, Train Sim World Classic, what am I thinking? And it's now going to be called Scenario Planner in Train Sim World 6. This is going to be this week's tutorial video. Hopefully on Friday we're going to be looking at the new West Coast Main Line Crew to Birmingham by Audible Simulator, which if you haven't seen the screenshots, looks absolutely fantastic and out of this world. We're currently waiting for that to land, but in the meantime, might as well show you some more cool features of Train Sim World 6. And in particular, scenario creation, which means you can make your own custom scenarios, so you're not tied to the 400 that this came with, just in case you get bored of them. So, when you open the lovely Train Sim World 6 menu, you want to go to Creative Club, and then go to Scenario Planner. And then from there you want to select the route that you want to add the scenario to. So in this case it's Riviera Line. We've done everything with the Riviera Line. We are waiting for the next release of the other train, uh, next route, next bit of DLC. So we can sort of put the Riviera Line to bed for a little while. I'm aware that content can get a bit boring if you're doing it over and over again. So we're going to go to Exit Plymouth and Payton. We're then going to create a new scenario. Uh, here will be all the list of the ones you've currently created. So we're going to create a new one. And this one's going to be called Exeter to Painton 3, as we've done 3 already. Uh, we're just going to do that. I wonder if we can copy and paste. We can. Control C, Control V. Um, the description doesn't really do much for me, um, but it might be helpful. Um, the only thing I need to advise is sometimes the description and, dis and title have to have certain characters and they can't contain numbers, otherwise, it doesn't like it. Um, so, after you've done that, we're going to go to this lovely little timer down here. We're going to set the start time to 7 o'clock. Um, and then we're going to edit the weather. Uh, we want this in daylight, so we're going to have a 1st of April, and we're going to have a bit of misty, a bit of sun in the morning. Looks really good. Confirm, and then click confirm again. Lovely, if we didn't get any errors, first sign, so good. So, we're going to first go to add new service. I always do the players train first, so we're going to do Exeter. Uh, to Painton PGN, I believe this is the code, and that's going to start at 7 o'clock, maybe 7.05 actually, so you've got a bit of time when you go on the scenario. Player train selected and click confirm. We're going to then get this next screen, which is going to ask, ask us to set the train, and for what we're actually going to have a double headed class 153. And I know you're going to go, oh, well, hang on, they don't, they don't have any people, you know, no, none for Great Western Railways, none yet. I'm hoping someone's going to create one. If not, I'll create one, and then there'll be a first great worse than one. Bosh. So, first thing we're going to go to, to car formation. Uh, set that, and you can see the train up here. We then need to do add new path. Um, a path in Train Simulator is basically the route of the train. So, exit to Paint is a path, exit to Plymouth is a path, Dark Dawlish to Starcross is a path, any route a train does is a path. So, we're going to go to add new path just here, and we're going to set the start marker to Exeter. St. Davis platform number three, and then confirm the start marker. Depending on the platform you type or choose here, will depend on what portals and which services and paths you get available. So if your one isn't selected, if you click on it, it's like, well, there's only a path towards Barnstable. When you want a path towards Paynton, try choosing a different platform, something a Brit preset. So we're going to go to Exit St. Davis platform three, uh, and it's going to be the Exit St. Davis platform three to Paynton platform one. You'll notice above it you have an Express Exit St. Davis Platform 3 to Paynton Platform 1. That will be non-stopping at Dawlish Warren because Dawlish Warren is almost like two bay platforms um, a bit out of the way. So we're going to do this one here. Confirm path. Select destination is for us. It's going to be Paynton Platform number 1. And confirm destination. You've got this one. So again, um, confirm instructions even uh, is the stopping instructions for the train. So all of them as it's an early morning service and confirm instructions and then confirm service and there's our first service so if we go to save and edit you can see our one here with the player symbol just there that's great but you know it's boring just having a single uh, sort of train on its own so let's add some sort of AI traffic or other trains on the network to make it more interesting so first one I'm going to do is click A or add new service and this one is going to be our Painton uh, actually no this one is going to be our Newton Abbott, I think it's N, uh, moves NTA. It's that now to Exeter St. David's, and that is going to be leaving at seven in the morning. 
Uh, that is not a player train, so you need to untick that and click confirm. We're then going to set the train, and this can be because it's we'll just say it's come from Plymouth, it'll be an 802, and we'll just set this train here. Add new path. Um, so you're going to have a bit of a restriction on what you can add here. Uh, there you go, Newton Abbott platform number two. Hopefully, this lets me add one to extra. Okay, so Newton Abbott platform two is the wrong way. So, I think it's platform three actually. Uh, yeah, so we want the path to be Plymouth platform eight to Plymouth platform. Plymouth platform eight to X Davis platform five. Yeah, like platform five just here. Uh, confirm path. Uh, set destination, and we want that X name is platform five. Confirm destination, and instructions. It's gonna call at Dawlish only, just like that. And confirm service, and save and edit. We then want to add another service going from Painton to Exeter, so PGN to Exeter St David's, and we want this one also maybe to leave at 7 10 in the morning not a player service click confirm uh, and add new path lovely so we want this one to go paint turn come on i can't spell paint turn platform number i think it's platform two paint turn confirm service and we want this one going to x to platform three confirm path we're then also going to set the destination to X Davis Platform 3, confirm destination. And we want that one to stop everywhere as well. Maybe not Marsh Barn, just like that. Superb, and confirm service. Because we didn't set the train that time, we need to select one. So we're going to select a 150, 150 GWR, just like this. And we'll have first grade Western, why not? Don't know if it'll load, just like that. And then save and edit. Right, so the next one we want to do is, I wonder if we can set one, maybe just to go in front of us to make ours a bit more interesting, it might not, let's go so, and we want this one to leave at 7 o'clock, and we want this one to be ESD, X St David's to apply PLY, so code for Plymouth and confirm. Um, set train, so we want this one to also be a class 800, 802, yeah it'll have empty, it might have a bit of a thing here, yeah I thought it was, so Exeter, St David's, platform 4, I haven't finished it, oh no, just that, should we go towards Plymouth, lovely, and um, we'll have this one, Exeter, those platform 4, platform 6, so this will go once pretty much the train is actually at the station. So the destination we want is Plymouth Platform 6. Confirm instructions. So let's have a sort of semi-fast service. Let's call it Dawlish, Tim Murph, Newton Abbott, Tottenham and Ivy Bridge, bit of an early morning one. Confirm. Just like that. And save and edit again. So we've got four services. So we've got our one exit to Painton. We've got this one just going straight in front of us. Um, so yeah, plenty to do here. Um, what time do we get into? Let's see what time we get into um, Newton Abbott. No, actually we won't do that. We'll add another one. Let's maybe add like a freight train. So maybe ply to Exeter St David's. Uh, we'll get this one starting at what time maybe not eight o'clock maybe 7 15. not a player one and we want this one to be freight i wonder if we can start this one at hmm, what time can we start this one do i want that uh... Yeah, okay, let's edit this terrain again, sorry. Uh, confirm. Edit timetable, add set terrain. Let's maybe set this one so it's got a bit of freight with it. Yeah, why not? Uh, and then let's click add new path. 
So this one is going to start at, I wonder if we've got top ness available. Uh, top ness riverside siding, I wonder where we can go. Top ness platform 2. Don't quite want that. Let's try that one somewhere else. I'll tell you what, let's start this one at Dawlish. Uh, where can we go? Exeter. Do we want this one in front of us, or do we want it going the other way? Let's tie, change the time of this one, maybe to leave a little bit later. So by adjusting the time like this, uh, means that your trains have more options. So confirm, and then we're going to do this again. Edit timetable, add new path. Um, it's really not like in this one, is it? Probably because it's a freight train, I think. Let's have a look, see if we can change it. Wonder if we insert here. Uh, let's have that. Um, let's have that going to Newton Abbott. No, we want this. Yeah, why not? Let's have it like that. <laughs> Goes in platform six. Um, and it's destination X. So David, confirm. And it is only not going to stop anywhere actually. It's a freight train. Um, so it's service start now. Now platform three at 25 past that. And save and edit. So by this, you can just build up a, a inventory of trains. It does get slowly more progressively hard, if that's how you say it. Um, <laughs> when you're kind of doing all this stuff um so yeah don't be shocked if you start getting some really questionable service at paths um but yeah go wild um but yeah the last thing to do is actually to test it so we click save and exit and then that was free so we can go to um play just like this and hopefully if we've done it all correctly it shouldn't have any errors, but to be fair, Trains in World 6 is much better for error checking than Trains in Classic will ever be because you get the delightful um, invalid consist, incorrect electrification, derail consist, uh, path blocked, you know, all the all the classics. So if you click get started, uh, great weather choice, I must say. Uh, maybe we could have done a bit better than that. Um, so this one, I assume, should be going. Maybe it goes up at one minute past. Oh look, look at him loading his train, looks like that. And then you've got our <laughs> train, Transport Wales, maybe one day. I mean, to be fair, they've got their 175s knocking around now, so maybe maybe one day. Um, so yeah, this is the 7 o'clock to Plymouth. Um, so yeah, that is how you basically create a scenario in Trains in World 6. Uh, quite exciting, to be fair, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, now we're inside this train. Fabulous. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if there is anything that you want covered in more depth, just let me know. Um, but hopefully we'll get this released and then the next bit of content will be a good old trip on the newly released All Aboard Simulator West Coast Main Line at Birmingham 2 Crew. And right on par, this train is going to go. I hope. There we go.